Hey guys, Lizzie the Light Worker here. So I wanted to do a Scorpio season just pick a card. I like doing this. I think it's a lot of fun. I think even though the readings are general, that there is some good to it and that everybody can sort of relate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split a couple of times here. Just very randomly. And then I'm going to, I'll draw a couple out and I'll let you guys think what one you want. And I'll just do a general for each card okay so you want one two or three okay so you think about for a second if you want one two or three all right guys now if you picked card number one all right card number one general reading your energy is very tough very driven you're uh harnessing some creative flow this is um, King of Wands usually represents a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. It could just be the personality right now. Um, so with the King of Wands energy, it's a lot of drive, creative force, like I said. Um, sort of just taking the reins, being domineering, being brave, courageous, taking the lead. Um, not maybe necessarily finishing everything you start, but the creative drive is unreal. There's so much going on in your head, so many ideas that you have that you want to like execute. Um, so the energy just is the reminders, like I said, is just starting things, not necessarily finishing them. So just pace yourself with projects. If you feel like you know you're not going to be able to get something off the ground and running or you're going to be like in the middle of something and you're going to have to stop, just don't don't waste your energy there. So other than that, in the love aspect, this card is more for um, if you're single it's it's not always a good relationship for not always a good reading for long term i meant to say long term relationships it's sort of like meeting passionately passions kind of explode and you know you kind of fall head over heels or it's like love at first sight um that sort of thing and like couples if you're with somebody that's like this they're more like they're in charge they like to dominate they like to um you know, they like to get right to the point. They don't like to beat around the bush. They're not like no nonsense people. In a health aspect, this would be definitely taking charge of your health, um, getting some new ideas in order or, um, you know, just sort of like getting a, a force or drive to do better for yourself or more for yourself or get healthy again or get in better shape. Um, and like your finances, that all goes along with career. This is a very good card for career. This is like, you know, sort of like if you're waiting on a job or looking for a job or you're running your own business or you're at a job, you're just sort of on top right now. You're on top of the game. Um, a lot of people would come to you for advice because they know you're a no-nonsense person and they know that you'll just give it to them straight. They know there's like no gray areas. They are, these types of people are brutally honest people. They want the truth too. They don't settle for maybes and you know, they're, they're very impatient. You got to go, go, go. Let's move it. That's how that energy comes from with the King of Wands. All right. So if you picked card number two, um, this is a very good card. This is very happy. This is feeling very complete. Everything that you have worked for sort of has manifested. There's more to come, more like more, more manifesting, more to come. There's um, a sense of family and happiness. There's a, this is like a good card for couples. It's marriage, um, reestablishing bonds, um, commitments, children. Um, everything is in harmony and peace. All the cups are full. It's like nothing could be better. This is really a great card for every single aspect. Like I said, love, it's overflowing. Your health is good. Your money is good. Your finances are good. There's no worries, none whatsoever. Okay, if you picked card number three, then, you know, you may be celebrating something right now. You may have had a small victory and, um, you know, you sort of could toot your own horn and people are... Um, 
sort of rooting for you and along with you and happy for you and celebrating you and celebrating your success and you're into victory full fledged you're just trotting into it it's like your own parade right now um, and definitely rewarded so if this is a job you're going to get a promotion a raise or change in status at your job or your career if you're looking for work you're going to find work there's going to be a wonderful opportunity that's going to present to you you're going to take it it's going to work out it's going to be good money if it's love then you may have won someone over you may have um opened up a door with them and they like you or they're noticing you or they want to try to be with you or they're trying to connect with you. Um, and if it's your health and you've taken charge of something and you're on a better path, you're getting well, you may have had um, some good news. Uh, you may have overcome something and um, feeling really great right now. Okay. So that's the little three card spread reading for Scorpio season. I do hope you enjoyed. And in the comments, if you'd like to tell me what card you picked and if it resonates, that would be so cool. And if not, that's fine too. And as always, I will say many, many blessings to you guys. And this has been Lizzie the Lightworker.